it did not lift that well. What happened? Oh god. Oh sh Where did we go so wrong? Oh my gosh. The hair started falling out. No! Hi beautiful. Thank you for being here. Let's watch some videos together. You look incredible by the way. I wanted to try something new with my hair. I have natural pale skin and I have a lot of freckles. So a lot of people have been telling me that I would look really good with red ginger copper hair. I think they are so right. Whoever told you that is brilliant. Like that is definitely the vibe for you. You have the perfect skin tone for a ginger color. However, your hair is very dark right now, so it's gonna take a lot of work. Well, a little bit of work to get this ginger. I was gonna say a lot of bit of work, but honestly, like, usually people end up with ginger hair accidentally, so trying to do it on purpose shouldn't be that hard. But you know what? You guys seem to make everything harder than it is, so I'm sure we'll somehow find a way of making this the most difficult process ever. So let's see. I've been watching a lot of Brad Mondo videos. That way, I'm prepared to just do my hair. As you can tell, I have a lot of it. She's got some thick, long hair. It is luscious and it is ready to be colored ginger. I can tell. It's like speaking through the screen. It's like, please color me ginger immediately. I've had in the past where I would cut my hair and grow it out and then cut it back to like my chin and then grow it out. And I'm finally comfortable with the length. I'm comfortable with my bangs. I'm also comfortable with your bangs. I like the length, but I do think some layers would be really cool on you. Like it would look really, really, really good. You know what I mean? Like, does that make sense when I say that? Like, it would look really good if you had some layers, maybe like a wolf cut. Ow! Oh my god! Whoa! <laughs> oh, I just had like a shoulder spasm or something. Whoa! Chill! Oh, it still hurts! Oh! Whoa! A wolf cut would look insanely good with your hair. Just to give you a little bit more body, a little more volume, a little more texture, a little more movement. You know what I mean? I've dyed it a lot in the past. It's gotten black box dye in it. It's gotten red box dye in it. So it's got a lot of box dye. Oh, God. She just named every box color in the world. No, <laughs> no. Oh, my God. Okay, well, it's probably gonna be patchy. But you know what? We are only trying to go copper, ginger. So, like, it could be fine, you know? If everything could work out. It could be good. I don't know. I kind of don't have a lot of hope right now, to be honest with you. This is gonna be a hell of a ride. I got 20 volume. I have the lightener. I have everything here. These are the colors that I am dyeing it. I'm mixing these two together in order to achieve the color that I want. 5RC and 7R. Okay, so like a level 6 red copper. Cool. I like that. A level six is good for you. I think a level six red is awesome. Imagine like a lighter brown, but red. I feel like that was a very difficult way of explaining just a light red. So she only has to lift her hair like say two, three levels. It should be fine. So I have my hair parted and I have my concoction and this is kind of the consistency that I have right now with it. It looks pretty good to me, it looks pretty thick. It's a little watery, but it's okay, it'll be fine. It just depends, are you doing an open air application or are you doing foils? You're probably doing open air, so I would recommend having it a little thicker so it doesn't dry out too fast, but I will take this. I'm going to start with small, small sections and work my way up. The question we're all waiting to be answered is, is she gonna start with her roots or is she not going to start with her roots? I feel like she probably won't, because she literally, she watches my videos, so we'll see. Got my foil here. Oh, we're doing foil. Okay, the, the mixture of the bleach was fantastic then. Good job. We're gonna begin, and I'm just gonna start lathering it on. The race to be like, bleach doesn't lather. And I'm making sure I am getting the backs and the fronts. Make sure I get in between, and, and I am avoiding my roots. That way then everything can just look all nice and dandy and great. Gotta lighten up a little bit more. We're starting from the bottom back. We love when people start with the bottom back. It is the perfect place to start a color job, okay? It's my favorite place. Me and the nape of the neck. Two peas in a pod. Give it some more time. 
We are, however, using the wrong side of the foil, though it doesn't matter that much. Would recommend using the non-colored side of the foil, though, to get best results. <laughs> it's okay. One section done. It looks a little crazy. I've almost got half of my head done. I'm very slow at this. I'm trying to soak in every piece that I can. People tend to take, like, almost circular sections of hair instead of, like, horizontal flat sections of hair when they're doing this themselves. I don't really know why. I guess you just can't see the back of your head very well. But, you know, I would recommend horizontal, flat, thin, paper thin sections. When you have a sort of circle section, it's hard to get through all the hair. And then you end up with spotting from the bleach not getting into all the little crevices in the hair in that little pile of hair. So, um, wouldn't recommend this way, but it should be fine because she's doing a pretty good job at fully saturating each strand. Okay, half of my head is officially done. You can see right here, <sighs> look at that. That is definitely lighter. That is definitely lighter. That is looking really good. And um, luckily, we are getting light enough to go copper because we don't want to over lighten the hair, right? Because then the copper color will just fall right out of the cuticle. Once this lightening is finished, we want it to be like a copper tone already. And then we just put the copper color on top of it to seal everything in, make everything really vibrant and also really even in tone altogether. There is some spotting. Appears definitely lighter than down here. Yeah, definitely have to take this out soon. Oh, babe, it's gonna be spotty. From what you said you have on your hair, all the stuff you have on your hair, it's gonna be spotty as hell. Yeah, so this still needs some work. I'm gonna go ahead and start up here because this is, I have to take care of that. Ooh, that looks a little dry. We need a lot more lightener than that. I have to wash the first section out and this is what it looks like. You can't really see it, but obviously it did not lift that well. Ah. Uh. Oh no, 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 no. What happened? It doesn't look at all lighter. You must have had way too much developer in your bleach formula because something went wrong. It almost looks like there was no like powder mixed with the developer and it just didn't do anything. Something's up because that's not normal for 30 volume. I knew what's gonna happen, which is why I didn't do my roots at all. Let me see if I can turn. I just left the roots as it was. Oh wait, it looks a little lighter from that angle, I think. It's very hard to see, guys. It's very hard, it's very bright in here. Because I'm gonna do a second round of bleach and see if it'll pull through. All right, fingers crossed. I am treating my bangs like I'm treating my roots. I don't wanna bleach from here down and it'd be really white. I love what's going on with her head right now. She's got like foils everywhere, plastic bag on top of everything. It is quite a moment. However, we did leave out way too much root. At the top, there's like three inches of root left out. We want to just keep that to a minimum, right? We want to just do like an inch of the root left out and evenly across the head. Otherwise, you're going to get weird sh going on, all right? Then when she goes on her root, she's gonna get banding from the hair being a little bit too far from the root that doesn't catch on to the heat from the scalp. And then the heat from the scalp is going to affect that one inch from the scalp and it's going to make it nice and bright and light. And then you're gonna end up with weird sh going all around your head. Just a bunch of different colors. I don't like that for you. I just took out this section because it's time to take it out. So I'm gonna do now is I'm going to rinse this out and wait until these are done. There is still spotting all over the place. It definitely lightened up more than the rest of this, which is still wet. Oh yeah, looking like cheetah print over here. It's looking a hot mess. I am hoping that it'll lift around this color right here because my color that I want to do doesn't require me to bleach it very, very light. Oh my God, there's so much going on on this one. She has like five different colors on her head. Oh boy, how are we gonna even this out and make it all come together? I don't know, but hopefully she does because I'm not the one doing it, luckily. I think that maybe if I used a 30 volume developer, maybe it would have taken out more. You know, I was told by a professional to use the 20. Oh, we're using 20. Okay, that's why this is taking forever and we're not getting any good lifting. 30 would have been so much better for you. You have layers of box eye on there. Give it to me. Give me a 30 volume now. Yes. 
we'll be able to even it out. I know we will. Okay, the thing is, even when we put a toner over all this, yeah, it'll definitely appear even-ish. However, we'll still have variations of tones going on just because the palette underneath is not even, okay? You kind of need to have an even palette if you want optimal results, right? But something tells me you don't really care about having optimal results. You just want results. <laughs> no, actually, I feel like you do actually want good results, huh? You probably do. This is a lot lighter than I thought it would come out. This color is really, really close to the color that I bought dye for. Oh, it's actually looking good. What is going on? <laughs> this is a roller coaster. Oh, you are sending me on a ride right now. It is looking a whole lot better now that she rinsed it and blow dried it. Honestly, I also like the root. Like, I feel like she just should not do her root and just leave it dark. So it fades from like a dark brown to copper. It'd be really pretty on her. Um, but I have a feeling we're gonna try and do the roots too and everything's gonna be kind of chaotic, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> okay, so I just finished my roots. Very, very blonde. So I'm gonna wash this side out. I started this at 11 o'clock and it is now three. Five hours. Oh, wash that out. Those roots are getting way too light. Why are the roots way lighter than the ends? Well, obviously because of the heat on the scalp and your roots are probably natural with probably not a lot of box dye on them. So they're gonna be way easier to lighten than the mids and ends. So uh, let's rinse it the f out. Hurry up. This is my hair all dry. And this is the second round of bleach. I wanna show you that the bangs, I didn't have enough time to really dye those bangs. So they're still a little bit like brownish. Oh dear Lord. You have 85 colors on your head. Ah, let's hope that this toner just performs a miracle on you. However, I would try and get that way more even all around before toning for sure. Because one day that toner is gonna wear off and you're gonna have 18 colors again showing on your head and it's not gonna be cute. This is a full back and it's cool, very close to the color that I was looking for. My roots are peeking through, so I'll need to dye those. Oh no, did you see the back of her head? Oh no, 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 no. This is what I got. They're the Wella Permanent Gel Hair Colors. All right, well, we're using permanent color. Let's not do that. You don't need to do that. You just lightened your hair. You just need demi-permanent color or semi-permanent color, depending on how long you want this red to last. Demi-permanent lasts a bit longer. Semi-permanent's easier to get out. Just depends what you want. You don't need to inflict any more damage on your hair for any reason. You just don't need to do that. However, sometimes permanent color does tend to last longer on situations like this where the hair is red. So like, it just depends. It's like, okay that she did it, but not optimal in my eyes. There's more than one way to do things with hair though. Hi, to be fully honest, I probably should have updated you guys right after I finished my hair. I am so in love with my hair. I love it so much. I think that it looks so good on me and I feel like it really fits. And I think that with my pale skin and my freckles, it really matches my looks oh my god she owns this color oh my god this looks like she should have been born with it you know it looks beautiful i will say though i like the end color much more than i like the root color the root color is like definitely a really vibrant red and the end color is like this perfect natural copper look that i love so so much i would love to see your whole head that copper color um uh, but this looks so much better than that dark color you had before both look great on you but like this, this is your thing. And you killed it. In a lot of the ways you actually did like murder it. Like you did like a bat, like that was really scary. Like you kind of killed it. You're like, you know what I mean? Like just kind of like, let's kill my hair. <laughs> but in a lot of ways you also killed it in the positive way. This looks great. <laughs> good job. No, not good job, but you got away with it. And that's all that matters.